Columbia, South Carolina, with everything on this line, this. Against a team like that, this. Of all the ways it could end, this. A Tennessee football season that felt too good to be true proved to be just that Saturday night, when the fifth-ranked Vols self-immolated in a shocking, 63-38 loss to South Carolina at williams Bryce Stadium. Gamecocks quarterback Spencer Rattler, who entered Saturday's game with eight touchdown passes and nine interceptions this season, completed 31 of 38 passes for 438 yards and six touchdowns against a Tennessee defense that catapulted the Vols out of the chase for a national championship. Tennessee senior safety Jalen McCullough, photo, Jeff Blake, USA Today Sports Tennessee tried pressure. It tried sitting back. It tried man. It tried zone. It tried everything but covering and tackling. Any small sliver of doubt that existed disappeared in most cruel way imagine with 11 minutes, 38 seconds left, when the Vols trailed 49-31 and senior quarterback Hendon Hooker, arguably the best player in college football this season, went down with a non-contact knee injury and crumpled to the GR. The pain caused Hooker to lose the ball just before his knee hit the ground, and officials correctly ruled it a fumble after watching the replay, but none of that mattered in the moment. Not really. Sports are the best and the worst, the most generous and the most cruel, the most fair and the most unfair. Tennessee losing that game was fair. Hooker potentially suffering a significant injury was unfair. The story of his college career deserves a better ending than that, and all we have is hope that this wasn't the end. The result of this game, though? Fair. Tennessee's offense was erratic, but by definition that means some things went well. Scoring 38 points should have been enough to beat South Carolina twice. It would have been enough to beat the Gamecocks six times last week in Gainesville. It's difficult to fathom anything, even in hindsight, that will render that defensive performance excusable.